Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Page 64. Hello, Evelyn. How are you, Evelyn? Hello, teacher. <laughs> everything fine, everything fine. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Happy San Valentine Day. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Happy Valentine Day too. 
Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Bueno, por ahí les he, por ahí les dejé dos vídeos, no sé si los lograron ver. Sí, tiche. Ya las hacía cantando esas canciones de antaño. Good evening. Good evening. Yo creo que no, ni las ni las habían oído nunca. La verdad no, dice. La número dos, sí. La número dos, sí. Ni, yes. sabían, ni sabían que existían, creo. La segunda, sí. La suele escuchar. La primera, sí, no sabía. Ah, ok. Ok. Son muy fáciles de, de comprender la forma de, de articulación de, de esas canciones. Las, sí. las actuales son más complicadas. Bueno, por ahí le hice la propaganda a Don Kenny Roger y su música. Bueno, veo poca audiencia el día de hoy. Algunos están celebrando, maybe, I don't know. Algo otros debieron de decir que después de las 10 la celebración, así es que ahora voy a estar muy atento, muy atento de, de, del reloj. Don't worry about that. Ojalá las esperen y no se les duerman. Oh. 
Debe ser el tráfico, teacher. Ha estado un poco complicado por, por la fecha también. Sí. Bueno. Por ahí van llegando. Ya voy saliendo el trabajo, teacher. Dice, ¿quién? Katia. Wow. Los admiro, salen tarde. Salen sumamente tarde. Okay, try to remember what we started yesterday. And uh, I remember I asked you to create some sentences with some words. I hope that you have it uh, in order to share it right now. Todavía vamos a esperar un poco porque no tenemos ni la mitad más uno. Bueno, casi que si ya la tenemos. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher boy, camino a casa, dice Angel. Bueno. Ingrid Elizabeth Esther, Rosalí, Diana, Mayra. Teacher, aún no llego. Voy de camino a casa, dice Natalie Funes. Wow, wow, los admiro. Y yo llegué a las cuatro. Salgo 3.50, a las 4 estoy en mi casita. Me queda lejos. Muy lejos. Sí, o así, ¿verdad? Tener un trabajo súper claro. cerca. Claro. Sí, pero imagínense cómo... Salen tarde y todavía van en, solo en tráfico quizás hacen más de una hora. Porque sí. la, hora, la hora de salida supongo que quizás es a las cinco o seis, no sé. Admirable, así que aprovechen las dos horas que están sentaditos enfrente del ordenador también. Para que fluya, para que fluya. Bueno, ya tenemos 14. Ok. I'm going to check out the attendance cards, I guess. Luego la vamos a revisar otra vez la asistencia, pero al menos que alguien me recuerde justamente a las 8.20. Porque si no me recuerdan, eh, cuando ya comienza el tema, se me olvida. Ok, teacher. Ok. Ok.
Okay, here we go. Okay, let me introduce the topic and then we are going to make a little review in order to start talking about the new one. Can you hear me very well? Yes. ¿Me pueden oír muy bien? Sí. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is class number 12. La clase número 12. And our topic for today is how to use simple present information questions. Simple present information question. That is the topic. Uh, as a matter of fact, I told you to create some sentences, but let us start with this reading that I have here. Vamos a comenzar con este reading y luego vamos a hacer las oraciones que ustedes tienen listas ahí. Me interesa que aprendamos a leer bastante también. But hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to read it. Say, John works at Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friends Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stop is one block from John's house. They were at the Walmart in Marlboro Mall. John is a cashier. Alma works in the stock room. John is taking a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Okay, first of all, what I need is that you take care about the uh, inflection that the bear has. I already explained you, and uh, I need that you remember because uh, I already explained this one. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes in order that you read it. Okay, uh, let us see. I'm going to read again. I already told you uh, de este tema de las inflections. Ya lo expliqué antes. Cuando agregan S, cuando agregan ES. Do you remember that? Somebody can tell me the rules. Alguien me menciona las reglas, por favor. Eh, Son los verbos en tercera persona. Okay, tell me, tell me. Okay, I'm going to read again. John wears at Walmart. He wears from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He wears with his friends Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stop is one block from John's house. 
place in John's house. They were at the Walmart in Malbert Mall. John is a cashier Alma wears in the stock room. John is uh, taking a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Okay, ask me. Do you consider that you can read it now? Or do you have some problem with some words? Yes, let me know, please. Who wants to read it? You can't hear it later. Rosalie, okay, do it. And then, John worked, okay, okay, continue. John works at Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friend Alma. Alma and John take bath to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7 15. The bus, the bus stop is one block from John, John House. They work at the Walmart and Marlboro Mall. John is a cashier. Alma works in the stock room. John is taking a, a, a call. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Okay, thank you. I need to make a stop now. Ya vamos a continuar. Okay, hold on there. I need to check up the the tennis, so please wait a little bit. Do you know what is the meaning of the word hold? When I say hold on, hold on. ¿Sabe lo que significa eso? Or no? Dime, dime, dime. Hola. ¿Cuál palabra? Hola. Creo que quiere decir aunque. No, hold on quiere decir espere un momento. Hold on. Ah. Hold, Pero, hold on. Teacher. Even when, when somebody is uh, using the phone, si, si está hablando por teléfono y, y de repente le dice como dejar en stand-by una llamada. Hold on, hold on. Eh, no es lo mismo como wait me. Instead of saying wait, uh, we use hold, uh, hold, hold. Hold on, hold on. Eh, ¿Quién? ¿Cuál es la, dif la diferencia, teacher, entre aunque y lo que usted acaba de decir? Porque casi se pronuncian igual. Mm, but sometimes um, we can say even though, even though es diferente, even though. Even though, ah. Uh, Aún y cuando, sí. In this um, case, I say hold, H-O-L-D, O-N, hold on. Hold on. So it's como, espere, hold on a second. Espereme un segundo, por favor. Uh, okay, you use it that way. Okay, Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria. Hi. Ah, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, me extrañaba. Okay, Andrés Leonardo. Andres. In here, in here. Okay, thank you, Angel Giovanni. Angel. Angel. Present teacher. Okay, okay. Okay. Um Brenda Natalie. Brenda. Now here you celebrating Bali today, maybe. Ah, oh, okay. He's not here now. Maybe he's traveling. Hey, Carlos is there. Say hello, Carlos. 
Diana Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, Diana is there too. Uh, Erika Veronica. Present. Erika is there. Uh, Evelyn. Evelyn. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, okay. Be careful with Firulai. Be careful. Firulai is barking, is barking. Ingrid. Present teacher. Okay. Ismael Ernesto. Present teacher. Ahí está. Eh, Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Julia Janet. No here. Creo que es una de las que va en camino, sí. Katia María también iba en camino. Present Pero teacher. Está de listen y creo que no ha llegado a su casita todavía. Bueno. Eh, Luis Armando Girón. Luis, Luis is now here, he's celebrating too, okay, Marvin Alexander Jimenez, Marvin, Marvin, he's not here, no está Marvin, Mayra Elizabeth, Present teacher. Ahí está. The winner for today. Fue la primera que entró hoy. Ahí está. Se ha ganado un desayuno en su casa mañana. Ella se lo va a preparar. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you are the winner. Okay. Michael. Michael. Ya no apareció. Michael. Rosalí. Present teacher. Marisa Rosalí. Eh, Sandra Ivet. Está de listener, Sandra Ivet. Si puede hacer. Uh, hello, hello, I'm here, teacher. Ahí está el hello, ahí está el hello. Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Ok, welcome to all of you. In this romantic day that is called uh, Valentine's Day, you know, people used to celebrate, share different kinds of gifts. But uh, another people say that this is the, the commercial friendship day. Mucha gente dice también que este es el día comercial de la amistad. Así es que ahí usted quédese con el que a usted le guste. At the beginning of the class, uh, I was talking with some uh, of your classmates related with the videos that I shared with you. Ahí estuve hablando de los videos que les había compartido, música viejita que algunos no la conocen, pero que por ahí se les puse. Natalie está por ahí. Let me see, Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. Okay, Brenda. Ahí está, Brenda, 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 Natalie. Yo estoy okay. yo aquí, teacher, también. Ah, ok, Katia también, ok, bien. Katia María, ok, Katia María. Katia María. <coughs> Le, va, le toca llevar dos D a ella, mire. Katia María de León D. Así son los apellidos. Yo tengo ese mismo apellido, eh, el segundo. Y me preguntaban y me decían, eh, ¿y, ¿y por qué tú llevas el nombre de, de, de tu esposa, el apellido de tu esposa? Porque llevas de León. Y les digo, no, así es. Pero mucha gente se confunde y ese D tiene que ser mayúscula cuando es apellido, pero cuando es de casado sí debe ser minúscula. 
cosas del idioma, ¿cierto? Ah, ok. Ok, welcome to all of you. Uh, let us uh, start talking about, uh, we are reading. Estamos leyendo para los que no se habían dado cuenta. Ahí ya tenía una lista enorme, ya perdí las manitas que me habían indicado la lectura. Por favor, si alguien de los que tenía su mano arriba uh, want to start, ok. I'm still waiting. Hello. Who wants to read it? Okay, Katia. Uh, John works at Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with this friend Alma. Alma and John take to the bus. To work together in the morning. They catch the bus that 7 uh, 15. <laughs> I don't know. The bus shop in the east on block from John House. They work that the Walmart in Malboro Mall. John is cashier. Alma work in the stock room. John is stock, of course. He, he will be fisher in November. The, the he will be promised to the culture supervisor. John is excited. Okay, thank you, Katia. I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más antes de que continúen para los que no habían llegado. Por favor, pónganle play record. I'm going to read it. Say, uh, uh, algo importante, pónganle atención, por favor, a los inflections de los verbos que agregan S. Porque no es lo mismo decir I work que John works. Listen, listen. Okay, John works at Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friends Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stop is one block from John's house. They work at the Walmart in Marlboro Mall. John is a cashier. Alma works in the stop room. John is taking a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Ahí está. Ok, continúe don José Alejandro Cruz. John works a Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friend Alma Alma John and uh, Alma and John take the bus to the world together in the morning. They catch the bus at seven fifteen. The the bus stops is one block from John John's house. The world at the world mall in maybe world mall. John is Kaiser Alma, what is this stock room? John is talking, of course. We'll be finishing in November. Then we will promise a Kaiser to a Kaiser supervisor. John X side. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Maria. Next, please. Alguien más, por favor. Siga eh, Ingrid. Ingrid. Okay. John works at uh, Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friend Alma. 
Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus, the bus stop is one back block from John's house. They work, they work at the Walmart in Marlboro Mall. John is a cashier and my words in the stock room. John is taking a course. He will be fish, finished, finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Okay, thank you. Continue, Evelyn, Karina, and then Diana. Beyond work at Walmart, he works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friend Alma, Alma and you take the bus to work in the morning, they got the bus at 7.50. A bus stop is one block from John's house. They work at the warmer in Marlboro Mall. John is a cashier. Alma works in the stock room. John is taking a call. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. 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 Okay, thank you. Continue, please. Next one. Okay. John works at Walmart. He works for AEI to 5 p.m. He works uh, with these friends, friends, Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch their bus at 7.16. The bus stop is the is one block from Joe's house. They work at the warmer in the Marlboro Mall. John is captured. Captured Alma works in the storeroom. John is taking a course, he will be finished in November. The, he will be prom, promoted to a catcher supervisor. John is excited. Okay, thank you. Bueno, quizás se lo voy a leer un poco más de corrido. Ustedes van a leer a su velocidad, que ustedes puedan hacerlo, ¿cierto? Pero es un nivel base. But we need to respect all the uh, periods and commas and semicolons and columns. Okay, say, so John works at Walmart. He was from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He was with his friend Salma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. Catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stop is one block from John's house. They work at the Walmart in Marlboro Mall. John is a cashier, almost work in the stock room. John is taking a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Okay, continue reading. Somebody else wants to do it? Okay, Mayra, you are going to be the last one in this activity because we need to move forward. Okay, do it, do it, Mayra. 
Okay, teacher. John works at the Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friend Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus, the bus stop is one block from John's house. They work at the Walmart in Malbor Mall. John is a cashier. Alma works in the stockroom. John is taking a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, another thing that I would like to ask you is if you understand exactly what is the meaning of this. John works at Walmart. Uh, John trabaja en el Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Trabaja de las 8 a las 5 p.m. He works in with his friends Alma. Trabaja con su amiga Alma. Okay. Ahora yo digo en inglés y usted en español. Uh, Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. Dime. Alma y John toman el autobús. Juntos en la mañana. They catch the bus at 7:15. The bus stop is one block from John House. Teacher, y catch no es como atrapar. Sí, pero en ese caso, eh, como es eh, tomar, tomar el bus. Ah, oh, ok. Agarrar el bus, como decimos nosotros, a la Salvadora. Ah, en la Salvadora. Yes. Yeah, ok, sí, Ok. They were at the Walmart in Mulberry Mall. Sí. Ellos trabajan en el Walmart y en Mulberry Mall. Ok, muy bien, excelente. John is a cashier. John is cajero. Alma works in the stock room. And... Ayúdenle, ayúdenle, ayúdenle. Alma trabaja en la sala de venta. Ah, uh, yeah, in the stock room. Okay, uh -huh. John is uh, taking a course. John está tomando un curso. He will be finished. Ellos, eh, como son atrapados. Termina en noviembre. Finaliza en noviembre. Ok. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. Y él será promovido de cajera supervisor. Ok. John is excited. Yes, Johnny está muy feliz. Muy... Está emocionada, no excitada. Emocionada. No me confundan esa palabra excited. No. Emocionada. No tiene nada que ver con, con, con otras cosas. No, 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 no. Ok, let us move forward. Ok. okay ah. Emocionada. Ok, I need that you answer this question based on the reading. Tratemos de responder estas preguntas basadas en la lectura. For example, number one, where does John work? Tell me. What do you remember? ¿Qué recuerda? Where does John work? Where does John work? In Walmart. Ah, he works. He, he, works. he works in Walmart. In Walmart, okay. Number two, when does John work? When? Ojo con esto, ayer lo expliqué. Where significa lugar, when, who, qué significa, y eso nos da la idea. Yeah. He is um, cashier. When, 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 when. ¿Qué significa when? Nos está dando señal de qué, de lugar, de... ¿Dónde? ¿Cuándo? Ah, ¿cuándo entonces eso es? Cuando... 
November. The... Tiempo, teacher. Ah, eso puede ser referente a tiempo. Ok. When does John work? ¿Cuándo trabaja eh, John? De 8 a 5, teacher. De 8 a 5. Entonces, pero la respuesta no es esa. En inglés es different. The board. How do you say in English? From? It, it was a... From? It was a... 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 a in. No, it was from... Es que yo dije, la respuesta no es esa porque me la dieron en español. Oh. Eight a.m. Two. Two uh, five p.m. Okay. Next, who does John work with? Who does John work with? Con quién? Sí. Alma. Alma. He works. He works with Alma. Okay, okay. Buena retentiva. When do they catch the bus? When do they catch the bus? When? They catch. When do they catch the bus? Seven. They catch the bus. At seven, seven fixing. Seven? Fixing. Okay, uh, next one. Where is the Walmart? Where is the wall? Where is the wall? Donde, donde, donde? Neighborhood. Okay, in the Melbourne Mall. Okay, who works in the stock room? The stock room. Who works in the stock room? Alma. Alma. Okay, and next one. What is John excited about? What is John excited about? He needs to promote it. A supervisor. Um, supervisor. Oh, he will be. He will be promoted. He will. He will. He will be promoted. Okay. Okay. And the last question: What is Alma's job? What is Alma's job? So true. What is Alma's job? He is a stock room friend. friend. What is Alma job? ¿Cuál es el empleo de Alma? Um, stock room? No. Room, algo con room. Take a look, mm -hmm. take a look here. Alma works in the stock room. The stock room. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay, now let us start talking about this activity. As someone, some classmate about the duties they had to perform at their workplace. Consulte, pregunte a algunos compañeros las actividades que ellos tienen que hacer en sus trabajos. And then we are going to share in order to do this. A fin de sacar esa respuesta. I am going to create a breakout room. Pero aquí, bueno, solo tengo dos listeners. Se supone que están busy now. Bueno, vamos a ver si dejamos a los listeners juntos. Por si acaso ellos están ocupados. Ok, me ve. Ahí pare. Let me switch. Wow, qué coincidencias. Me quedaron los dos juntos de uno. 
pero tengo a Ismael, no sé si va a poder con Julia y Janet. Bueno, veamos, veamos. Ok, I'm going to give you uh, like five minutes in order that you can talk about that. Remember, you need to talk about all your duties. Todas las actividades que usted hace en el trabajo, compártalas con alguien ahí, por favor. Ok, five minutes to talk about that. Acépteme la invitación, please.
Okay, who wants to share it? Can can you share it? Uh, what we what you talk about? How you are going to do it? You are going to use uh, um, for example, you are going to say uh, Ingrid has to do the following duties, and you mention all the duties. Um. Compañero fue Carlos Elias Arrimas. Ok, Ingrid. Él es técnico en electricista. Um, um, al... He is report uh, in the morning. Um, he... Ay, no sé cómo se dice dar. <laughs> Eso. Industrial accessories. Um, no sé cómo se dice asesoría industrial. Ah, ok. Industrial support. Industrial support. Industrial support. Eso. Um, check. Check. Eh, Yeah. Well, maintenance. 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 Uh, oh, yes. Of industrial machines. Machines. No sé cómo se dice máquina. Y clean work area. Okay, thank you. La limpia área. Okay. Thank you, somebody else. One more, one more, one more, please. Alguien más? Somebody else, somebody else, quien más? Okay, Esmeralda. Hello, este, eh, Sandra. Ella es eh, a side user of the platforms, set a eh, sediment, liquid in the player. Uh, and status of the project. Okay. Platform, platform, platform. Platform. Okay, platform. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, somebody else wants to do it? Uh, okay, Sandra, Sandra. Okay. My, my co-worker is, was Esmeralda. And she is a um, customer support, uh, social media, and legal document manager. Managers. Okay. And the last one, Evelyn Karina. Sí, mi compañero fue Armando Girón, pero creo que estaba cantando, me dijo. Así que no sé. Él es. Eh, eh, trabaja de atención al cliente, es customer support. Eh, trabaja de. Asistente administrativo, me dijo. Asistente. Eh, administra, administra, administrativo. Administrative Assistant. Y como de, de contador, asistente de contador también. Eh, accountant Assistant. Okay, remember that what you need to mention is all the duties. 
Lo que necesitamos mencionar son las actividades que ellos hacen en sus trabajos. For example, somebody say, okay, uh, as soon as I get to my job, what I have to do is just to turn on my computer and check up all the emails, send some email. And well, different activities. That is what I want. Different activities that you perform in your job. But don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, Julia. Hello, welcome, Julia. Hello. Hello. Welcome, um, welcome. Let, let, let uh, me check out the attendance. Let me Hello? check out the attendance. Okay, hold on a second. Let me check out the attendance. Okay, continue, okay. Julia. Okay, uh, my companion um, is Ismael, and he works in a construction compa company, and he works on a computer, and he makes skills to fill staff. Uh, he edits blueprint. Uh, he makes reports on the work career um, would, would be his companion. Uh, and resumiendo es trabaja en una empresa eh, según el que le entendí de, de construcción. Eh, trabaja desde computadoras en, y, en la empresa y él le toca hacer llamadas a los compañeros de campo. Edita planos y hace reportes. May report, uh, control everybody by phone, design uh, different kinds of, okay, that is why you need to learn how to say it in English. Okay, but okay. don't worry about yes. that. Okay, thank you. And the last one, Katia, you are going to be the last one because we need to switch to the next activity. Yo tengo una consulta, ¿cómo se dice prendas en English? Repeat. Prenda, o, o no sé cómo se puede pronunciar. Eh, prenda, ropa, uh, no sé. Well, if, you talk about, if you talk about this, it's cloth. cloth. Uh, ok. Entonces, está bien dicho, is eh, cloth inspection. O sea, inspección de ropa o inspección de prenda. Ahí sería como quality control. Ah, ok. Sí. Ok, ah, pues, eh, mi compañera fue Erika, entonces ella es, eh, bueno, ella es el Quality, eh, quality Conscious. Ok. Ok, eh, también hace el measure, Measurement, como la medición de las okay. mismas. Eh, y Comparation of eh, Cloud with Manual. Okay, thank you. Let us continue. Let me see the time that we have. Okay, let me move a little bit. Okay, uh, well, I need to share something with you in order to let me do it. I got it here. Hold on, hold on a second, please. Okay, let me do it in this way. I'm going to share with you. Okay, let me share first. I don't know if you can see it very well. Uh, I need to put together. Okay, right here, it's gonna be better. Uh, we are going to talk about some sports. And uh, as you can see, I, got a, uh, I already have classified it. Tengo una clasificación de deportes. Algunos usan do, otros usan play y otros usan go. Ok, for example, I, I, I do karate. No puedo decir I play karate o I go karate. No, I do karate. I do judo, I do ta taekwondo, I do kung fu, I do athletics, I do acro acrobatics, yeah, you know. Aerobics, ballet, exercise, yoga, archery, tai chi. Todos estos van a ser do. And uh, what, how we are going to know when uh, we are going to use play. If you mention uh, most of the sport that you use a ball. En la mayoría de los deportes que usamos una bola. Vamos a usar play, excepto, eh, eh, por ejemplo, de Messi, chess. 
chess that is different. But I say I play basketball, I play baseball, I play tennis, I play golf, I play volleyball, I play football, I play soccer. Do you know the difference between football and soccer? ¿Sabe la diferencia entre football y soccer? Yes or no? Hello? No, teacher. No? Teacher. No. Okay, fútbol, so eh, fútbol le llaman al fútbol americano. Sí. Y el soccer es el de el que se le pega con el pie. El que se juega con el pie y el otro se juega, eh, se puede jugar con pies y manos y la bola es diferente. Ok. Y ahí aparece también el rugby, que es parecido. La diferencia del rugby es que es más fuerte y el número de jugadores es diferente. Sí. ¿Qué sería chess, teacher? Chess es... Eh, chess ¿Dama? Es, 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 ¿Ajedrez? Sí, el ajedrez. Ajedrez, ok. Ok, next one. Uh, ok. This classification is really important to have it. Pueden hacer una captura, por favor. Esto es importante tenerlo. Para saber realmente... Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo juegan ellos? Eh, ¿Cómo se van eh, organizando ahí? Ok. Um, let me see what else do we have. Ok. Uh, somebody say I play soccer, I play chess, I, I play uh, cricket, ball games, uh, hockey, badminton. And when we talk about go, we say go swimming, go hiking, go running, go fishing. Generalmente los que van con go, uh, encuentren una característica de los que van con go, por favor. Terminan con el ING. Ah, en ING, okay, ING. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fishing, bowling, skiing, horse riding, snowboarding, uh, skating, cycling, todos esos van a usar go. Y todos los que tienen relación con bolas, la mayoría de, de ellos y los que tienen a, ¿cómo podríamos decirlo? Como alguna superficie donde, donde jugarse, se, se, se usa incluso play. Porque el, el, el hockey es, y el badminton es it is the same. But, but my, my major point here is this. Okay. Um, I invite you to take care about this, uh, but I need to do something. Hold on a second. Necesito compartirlo con audio para que me puedan oír. Okay, let me see. Hold on a second. Creo que así lo pueden leer hasta ahí. Está bien. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay, okay. Uh, I need that you practice this conversation. Uh, I'm going to play it again in order that you uh, pay attention about that. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. 
Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Hold on, hold on. What's happening there? Permítame un segundo que se fue a la siguiente. Page 66, oh, wow, wow, wow. exercise no, 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 4. Okay, I got it here. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. Page 6. Okay, who wants to read it? I need two volunteers who wants to read it. Okay, Sandra. Y eh, Angel, por favor. Sandra is Lauren and Angel is Justin. Okay. Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? My favorite are hockey, basketball, and soccer. Wow, you are really good athlete. Where do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. What do you mean? I just watched the on TV. Okay, thank you. I'm going to play it again. Pay attention, pay attention, please. Page 64, exercise two, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay, thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Page 64, page 64. Okay, somebody else wants to read it? Carlos, and? Ingrid, okay. Ingrid, you are Lauren and Carlos is Justin. Uh, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play uh, this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay. Una palabrita que necesito que refinemos es favorite. Favorite. My favorite are my favorite. 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 Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else? Una pareja más. And we are going to move. Okay, another thing that I uh, that I need is that you take into account the, the question, the question for that I have here. La forma de cómo está estructurada la pregunta. What do you do in your free time? What sport do you like? What do you mean? What is the meaning of the, the last question? What do you mean? Okay. 
What sport do you like? Excuse me? What sport do you like? No, no, no. I'm talking about the last one. El significado de la última. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. In Spanish. ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Qué quieres decir con eso? ¿Qué dices? Ok. Ok, let us continue then. Any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta? Le dice, so, y entonces, Justin, ¿qué haces en el tiempo libre? Mm, bien, uh, me gusta el deporte. ¿De veras? ¿Qué deportes te gustan? Mis favoritos son hockey, baseball y soccer. Wow. You are a really good athlete. Eres un atleta. ¿Cuándo eh, practicas estos deportes? No, yo no los practico. ¿Qué dices? Yo solo los veo en la televisión. Los practico con la vista. Ok, okay let's move forward. Okay, present simple uh, WH question structure. This is the topic, the main topic. If you if you can do it, uh, try to write down these structures. Si puede escribir estas estructuras, por favor. Que estas son ya del tema en sí. Let me try to make it bigger. Okay, you got it there. The in, the in the first position, we have the WH word. Uh, next one we had the auxiliary could be do or does. And we can have the subject, the pronoun, and then the pair. Another way is uh, what? You can mention the sport, you can use do. For example, what sport do you practice? Aquí tenemos lo que está arriba, mira, WH, el auxiliar que sería, aquí en este caso tenemos, antes de eso tenemos eh, el deporte, luego el auxiliar, luego tenemos el subject of pronoun y luego el verbo. And right here we have the simple present W question. Uh, what sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. I don't know if you are, you can see it very well. I'm going to get page 65, exercise three, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, you have it there. You, you can also uh, take a screenshot. Okay, right here, as you can see, what is hablando sobre a qué? Who is como con quién? Donde, con qué frecuencia, cuando. ¿A qué horas? Y aquí cuando dice, por ejemplo, uh, Who do you play baseball with? ¿Con quién juegas baseball? I play with some friend from work. Con algunos amigos de mi trabajo. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. Es el nombre del parque. 
How often do you practice? ¿Con qué frecuencia? We practice once. Esa palabra once significa una vez. And twice significa dos veces. Por ahí pueden anotarla. Se pronuncia once. Y esta twice. Una vez a la semana o dos veces a la semana. Hecha like a once upon a time. Once upon a time, ahí es diferente. ¿Sí? Ahí dice, era hace una vez. Ahí se, es, ahí se usa para, para contar cuentos. Once es como una vez, eh, un hecho sí. ocurrido. Once. Ahí nos damos cuenta que alguna, una palabra puede tener muchos usos y también significados distintos. Ok, en la last one, say, what time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Any questions so far from here? Question? No? No question? Hello. No, teacher. Okay, okay. Let us practice a little bit. One, I, I need the one. Uh, the first one, read the question and somebody else can give the answer. Tenemos para que practiquen 12 personas. Uno hace la pregunta, el otro la respuesta, luego otro pregunta, otro responde y así. Ok, let us start now. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Katia hace pregunta, Marvin responde. Ok. What sport do you play? I play hockey and basketball. Baseball, baseball. Baseball. Sí, baseball. No, basketball is different. Ah, uh, yes. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Sí, es que como ese, ese baseball no es tan usado para nosotros. But, but the baseball is like a softball, but it's not in the same way. Because the ball is small and the bat is uh, made from wood. Ahí están los White Sox que son béisbol. Ok, listener Rostali, ask the question. And somebody is going to answer your question. Ángel, ¿qué es lo que tú haces? ¿Cómo tú juegas béisbol with? I play with some friends for, from work. Ok, esto es importante que lo dejen por ahí guardadito para que vean la forma. Cuando pregunta con quién, mire el comba al final. Who do you play baseball with? Y este es el que significa con. Vea el orden, por favor, que le va a servir más adelante. Ok, somebody else. Next. No, ya no hay. Katia, en Ingrid. Ah, sí, gusta que le pregunte Ingrid, porque yo ya le pregunté. Where do you play? We play the Hunter Park. At, we play at. We play at Hunter Hunter Park. Hunter Park. Ok, thank you. Alejandro pregunta. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Ok, so what do you know? Mayra, 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 pregunte.
Evelyn, responde. When do you practice? You practice on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. Do you remember that song? ¿Te recuerdan de esa canción? O sea, así se la enseñaban a los niños en la escuela. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Ya se recordaron o no? Yes. Ah, Remember. Okay. Le vamos a pedir a los niños que tienen en parvularia que se la enseñen. Ellos se la aprenden. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Ok. Ya se recordaron. Ok, ok, ok. The last question. Somebody else. Okay, anybody, what time do you use? Okay, Katia. Okay, Katia, está bien, porque si nadie quiere participar y usted está disponible, adelante. Aprovechemos el tiempo. Okay. What time do you start? Ingrid, responde. We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, thank you very much. Bueno, supongo que van guardando la, las capturas de, de estas láminas. Porque sí les van a servir. Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok, let's move, let's move, let's move. Ok, complete the next chart. Ok, veamos. I need to get bigger this one. I don't know how to do it. Hold on a second. Page 66, okay. exercise 4. Listen, listening. Listen. What sports do you like? Listen to the conversations about sports. Complete the chart. 1. What sports do you like, Casey? You know, I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do like golf. Oh, really? When do you play golf? In the spring and summer. 2. What do you think of football, John? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Oh, yeah? What sports do you like? Let's see. I like swimming and bike riding and especially baseball. It's my favorite. Baseball's my favorite, too. So when do you play it? Every summer. 3. Do you like soccer, Sue? It's okay, but it's not my favorite. What's your favorite sport? Hmm, I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play? Oh, I don't play basketball, but a lot of my friends do, and I like to watch them play. 4. Do you play volleyball, Henry? Volleyball? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. I see. Well, do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is hockey. I love hockey. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Not very often. About two or three times a year. But I watch it on TV a lot. Okay, thank you. Do you want me to play it again? Le gustaría que se lo... ¿Lo ponemos una vez más? Yes, please. Yes. 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 Ah, ok, ok. Estamos trabajando la parte de listening. Estamos trabajando listening. Be careful. Ok, pay attention about this. Page 66, exercise 4. Listening. What sports do you like? Listen to the conversations about sports. Complete the chart. 1. What sports do you like, Casey? You know, I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do like golf. Oh, really? When do you play golf? In the spring and summer. 2. What do you think of football, John? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Oh, yeah? What sports do you like? Let's see. I like swimming and bike riding 
and especially baseball. It's my favorite. Baseball's my favorite too. So when do you play it? Every summer. Three. Do you like soccer, Sue? It's okay, but it's not my favorite. What's your favorite sport? Hmm. I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play? Oh, I don't play basketball, but a lot of my friends do, and I like to watch them play. Four. Do you play volleyball, Henry? Volleyball? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. I see. Well, do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is hockey. I love hockey. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Not very often. About two or three times a year. But I watch it on TV a lot. Okay, thank you. Okay, now uh, let us try to resolve this exercise. Hold on a second there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, what's happening? My goodness. Page six. Okay, hold on. Page 65. Page six. Okay, this one. Okay, this is a conversation on watch the sport on TV every week. We can, really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. Okay, create, uh, make a screenshot, please. Take it, take it, take it. Okay, you can resolve. Uh, let me finish this. Let me see the time. Okay, I need to stop. Okay, I'm going to stop here. And let me continue with my presentation. Okay, we have another conversation here. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and practice with the partner. Okay, uh, this conversation is between Kevin and Albert. Okay, Kevin said, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, I'm going to repeat again. Lo voy a repetir una vez más. What do you have to do on Thursday? I check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? Mr. Reese had to do that day. What does Mr. Ruiz uh, has to do that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish uh, to work on Thursday? And when does he have free times? 
Okay, I need two volunteers in order to, to do it. To volunteer. Okay, Sandra. And? Can I choose? Okay. Teacher. Hello. Can I choose somebody? Yeah, yeah, you can choose someone. Okay, I'll choose Ismael. Okay, Ismael. Go ahead, Ismael. Okay. Ismael, are you there? Yeah, Hello. Right. Okay, okay, go okay. ahead. You can start, Sandra. Okay, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursdays? Or when does he have free time? Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más? Esmeralda? And Marvin? Okay. okay, Esmeralda, you are Kevin and Marvin is Albert. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it going. Because I need cement to help me move some boxes. Can you do me favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time, uh, what time does uh, he finish to work on Tuesday? Or when does he have free time. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Dice, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure what time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, two more, two more, two more, please. Okay, Rosalie and Katya, okay. Yeah. What do you have? to do on Tuesday? I just check the production of the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you, can you do me a favor? Favor? Sure, that is about what does Mr. Ruiz have to, to do the, that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, thank you. 
Okay, let us move to the next activity. I know that some of you want to uh, do it, but we need to do something else. Take care of all the questions. We already explained it. Okay, let us try to work in the exercise number three. Pay word, read the conversation again. To circle the correct word in both, then answer the question. What do or does Albert have to do on Thursday? You are going to choose one, only one, do or does. Solo va a elegir uno de esos. Ejercicio parecido va a encontrar en la platform. Okay, number two, why do or does Kevin need help? Number three, who do or does you think is going to help Kevin? And number four, what do or does Mr. Ruiz, Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? Okay. Lo mismo puede hacer, hace un screenshot y lo comparte para que avancemos. Ok, para ahí está. Ingrid, thank you. Ok. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, I guess uh, this one we can resolve easily. Esta la podemos resolver fácilmente entre todos y luego hacemos la siguiente. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, uh, what I need to know in, in order to resolve this one. ¿Qué es lo que yo necesito saber para, para elegir el correcto? Veamos si tienen la clave o no la tienen. El pronombre. Tiene, tengo que ver, tengo que ver justamente el pronombre. Y en este caso, I have Albert. Y Albert es de primera, segunda, tercera persona. Tercera. Ah, entonces, si es tercera, ¿cuál voy a usar? Das. Das. Ok, ahí se los tengo, mira. Esos son los pronombres. What does? Okay, this is the right one. Why do or does Kevin need help? Does. Okay, does es tercera persona. Uh, number three. Do, do. Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Who do? Algo que no comprenda me pregunta, por favor. And the last one, what do does this Luis do on Thursday? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, here's that. Easy, easy. Okay, I'm going to read this because I need to move forward because it's time. We're going to see one. Vamos a borrar. Can I already explain the next slide? In a different way. Ya expliqué lo de la, lo de la siguiente de puntero. Uh, let me take a look. Okay, information questions. Okay, how to use simple present information question. Example, what does she do on Saturday and Sunday? What does she do? ¿Qué hace ella los sábados y los domingos? La respuesta, ojo, ojo, ojo. She visit, aquí lleva inflection, porque es tercera persona. She visit other companies and has meeting. Ella visita otras compañías y tiene reuniones. Okay. Next, where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? 
¿A dónde va él el martes? No He goes to the company's pet burger. Okay, you know what is the company headquarters? No branches. The headquarters is the main, the main building of the company. Te escucha como interferencia. Es que hay un micrófono encendido. Ok, permítame un segundo, lo apago. A alguien se le olvida siempre apagarlo. Ok, pregunta, where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? He goes to the company's headquarters. The main building of the company we call a headquarters. No branches. El headquarter es el edificio donde está la, la, la compañía en sí. No una sucursal, sino la sala principal, el lugar específico. Ese es el headquarter. Ok, another question. Which apartment does our boss supervise? Our boss supervises the marketing department. Ok, take a look at this. Which department does our boss ¿Cuál departamento supervisa nuestro jefe? Y como estoy hablando de él, entonces dice Our boss supervises Agrega ese Eso yo lo expliqué como en la segunda clase Ok, and the last one What time does Miguel start to work? ¿A qué horas comienza a trabajar Miguel? Y aquí uso inflexión también Miguel starts to work at 9 o'clock. Prácticamente para dar la respuesta tomo después del auxiliar, mire. Después del auxiliar, ve. Aquí. Lo mismo pasó aquí, ve. Our boss supervised. Lo único que aquí le agregué S, porque como ya no está el auxiliar, entonces ahí le agrego la S. Lo mismo aquí. He go, aquí dice he goes. Uh, aquí no aparece visit, but she visit. Esto les aparece en su material. Preguntas, question. Question. No question, teacher. Okay, let me move a little bit with... Okay, this is uh, activity number five. Create question with the words provided. Ejercicio parecido en la plataforma. Why he had a meeting? Okay, remember, it's very easy. Se lo voy a decir más fácil. Después de todas las palabras que llevan WH, ahí vamos a usar un auxiliar. Que es, ya puede ser do o does. Ok, five minutes, five minutes to do it. Five minutes to do it.
Okay, let me see the last result. Did you finish? No? Finish teacher. Okay. Finish. Okay. Okay, letter result. Somebody wants to read it, number one. Number one. Hello. Somebody wants to read uh, one. Question number one. Okay. Why does he have a meeting? Okay. Why does that he have he a meeting? Okay. Number two, somebody else? Number two. Yes, number two. Where does cheese process the payment? Okay. Number three. Number three, what do Ingrid on Wednesday? What? What do Ingrid on Wednesday? Mm, Ingrid is first, second, or third uh, person. Ingrid is the first person. person. Yes. Si es tercera persona, entonces, ¿qué necesito entre what y Ingrid? What does, what does Ingrid yes. do on Wednesday? Okay. What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Okay. Okay. Number four. Number four. Number four. When does employee acquire the raw material? Okay. Solo nos falta un determinante. When does an employee when does an employee acquire the raw material? Okay, thank you. Okay, let me check the attendance. 
time that I told you to to finish at the right time because maybe you are going to celebrate, continue celebrating the Valentine's Day. Y como eso llega hasta las 12 de la noche, todavía se los pueden celebrar. Estaban enojadas por esa clase, no vamos a ir a celebrar. Bueno, ya terminamos la clase. We are celebrating together. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me check out the attendance. And, okay, let me see. Okay, la tutoría antes de que se me olvide le corresponde a, a Julia y Anel Mendoza at the end of the, of the session. Okay, February 14, I got it here. Here we go. Okay, Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Victoria. Eh, Andres. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Angel. Present teacher. Okay, um, Brenda. Now here, Carlos. Present. Diana. Present teacher. Eric. Er er Erica, teacher. Erica, Erica. Okay. Present teacher. Evelyn. Evelyn. Present. Okay. Uh, Ingrid. Present teacher. Mael. Present teacher. Jose Alejandro. Okay, thank you. Present teacher. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Patia Maria. Present teacher. Luis Armando. Luis Armando. No apareció hoy. Marvin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Rosalie. Present, chair. Okay, my, Michael is not here, okay. Uh, Sandra. Present, teacher. And Sonny. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. And take care. See you next class. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Happy day. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Teacher, solo una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, y los ejercicios que están en línea también se pueden hacer en la plataforma, en la, en la aplicación que está de, de inglés corporativo. No, los ejercicios que hicieron captura, esos eh, ya no están en la plataforma, son otros. Pero la misma plataforma que está en, en línea es la misma que tiene la aplicación. Mm, no, 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 es diferente. Ah, es diferente. Yes. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok. Good night, teacher. Okay, see you. Bye bye, Don Alejandro. Okay. Um, no sé, tendrá alguna pregunta o algunas preguntas. Usted me dirá, tiene 10 minutos. Si no tiene preguntas, pues algún comentario, algo que le podamos ayudar. You can tell me. If you want to tell in Spanish, you can do it in English. It's going to be better. Okay. Okay, teacher, thanks. Eh, um, quizá la parte que me cuesta un poco comprender es el, el, el uso del do y el das en las preguntas. Es formular las preguntas. Sí, me cuesta bastante. No, no logro comprender el, um, el, el cómo funciona. Cómo funciona y, y cuándo voy a usar el 
tú les das. Ok, ok. Yo no he puesto, o sea, no, no he logrado como comprender. El, el, no. el, sí he logrado comprender cuando um, a veces se cambia el sujeto y la acción. Eh, primero va la, cuando es una pregunta se convierte y solo se intercambia en la, la posición de las palabras, pero sí. cuando el uso de la como how, what, las que eh, nos empezó a explicar ayer, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí es donde todavía tengo un poquito de como duda cómo sí. usarlo. Ok, perfecto. Permítame un segundo. Ya le explicamos qué es lo que sucede. Con el do y el das. Ok, let me share it. Voy a compartir con usted mi pantalla. Ok. Ok. La mira, ¿cierto? Yes, sí. Ok, do versus das, English grammar role. Ok, let me share with you this one. Ok, dice, to make a question in English, we normally use do or das. It is normally to put it at the beginning of the question before the subject. For example, in affirmative, you speak English. The question is, do you speak English? Pero aquí todavía no aclara nada. Aquí está explicando solo la forma de cómo hacemos la pregunta. Ojo, ve aquí. La oración ah. afirmativa dice, you speak, usted habla español. Si yo quiero hacer la pregunta, solo como aquí no hay ninguna forma del be, pongo do. Do you speak Spanish? Y le pongo la question mark. Aquí está fácil. Sí. Sí, ok, sigamos. You will see that we are do at the beginning of the affirmative sentence to make it a question. Es lo que ya dije. Usted verá que hemos agregado el do al inicio para hacer de la oración afirmativa la hacemos pregunta. Use do when the subject is. Aquí viene, mire. Use do cuando el sujeto es. I, you, we, or they. Okay. Solamente va a usar do con I, you, we, and they. Ok. Si quiere hacer una captura para que le quede por ahí. Sí, en la canción, example, he speaks Spanish. La pregunta, como aquí dice, él habla español. Como es tercera persona, yo tengo una S aquí. Uh -huh. Entonces, a la hora de hacer la pregunta, como ya no es ninguno de estos pronombres, sino que es él, entonces voy a usar das y va cuando uso das, automáticamente el verbo pierde la S, porque solo puede haber un auxiliar, no pueden haber dos inflexiones. Ok. Entonces dice, does she speak Spanish? Uh -huh. ¿Me comprende este ejemplo, sí o no? Sí, 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 ya lo comprendí eso. Ok, perfecto. Ok, dice, when the subject is he, she or it, cuando el sujeto es él, ella, neutro, we are that. Nosotros agregamos das at the beginning to make the affirmative sentence a question. Al inicio para hacer una oración afirmativa en pregunta. Notice that the letter S at the end of the verb in affirmative sentence. Oh, dice, nótese que la letra S al final del verbo en las oraciones afirmativas disappear in the question, lo que ya le dije. Desaparece uh -huh. la S en las preguntas porque ya tengo el auxiliar. Uh -huh. Ya no lo necesito. Uh -huh. Ok, ahora veamos lo que sigue. We don't use do or does in question that had the verb to be, o con lo que ya mencioné. No usamos do or does en preguntas cuando tenemos una forma del verbo be o modal. Por ejemplo, si yo tengo can, tengo must, might, o should, no puedo usar do, excepto que no exista ninguno de los auxiliares de estos modales o una forma del be que puede ser am, is, o are. Entonces sí voy a usar do o does. Yeah. Ok. Ok. And then uh, we have the word order. Aquí tenemos, ese ya lo explicamos eh, ahí. 
Aquí en este caso, si antes de ponerle el, el WH, tengo do, el, el va con I, you, we, they, con estos cuatro. Uh -huh. Y das va con he, she, and it. Okay. Para crear la pregunta. Uh -huh. Ok. Revise, por favor, y me dice si algo no, no, no comprende de esa diapositiva. ¿Cómo no? Ahí está más, más claro. Sí, ahí aproveche de hacer un uh -huh. Sí, ahorita ya lo guardé. Y quizás se la voy a... Ah, lástima, ya se me salieron de... Pero quizás se la voy a compartir a usted eh, el link y usted se los comparte a ellos después. Ah, ok, sí. Los comparto okay. ahí en Ok, veamos la siguiente, dice, aquí está mejor, mire. Ah, ok, sí, eso es mejor. Ok, dice, auxiliary, do, does, subject, I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. Do lo uso con estos, das lo uso con estos. Uh -huh. eh, y ahí tengo los verbos, cuando es afirmativo, yo speak English, en forma de question, do you speak English? Le agregué uh -huh. el do y le agregué el signo de pregunta. Uh -huh. Sí. A ahora observe aquí, dice, he speak English. Aquí tiene ese. Uh -huh. Pero como luego le pongo das, he, entonces el verbo pierde la s. Uh -huh. Y uh -huh. aquí está la, la explicación. The verb form of the infinity to go to need. El to no lo usamos ahí. Por eso aparece la aquí sale así. Y dice, look, mira. Third person verb, lose. The final S in question. Los verbos de tercera persona pierden la S cuando se hacen preguntas. Uh -huh. sí. Ok. Eh, y ahí tengo unos ejemplos. Por uh, ejemplo, do you speak English? Does John speak French? Do we have time for a quick drink? Does it rain a lot in the south? Do they want to come with me? Does she like chocolate? Y luego aquí solamente habría que agregar what do you speak? In mm -hmm. Spanish. Aquí sería solo de agregar un WH, pero la, lo, lo interesante es que entiende el uso del do y el das. Uh -huh. Según sea el, como el, la pregunta, si se le agrega el what, el when, sí, el where. Sí, dependiendo de, de cierto. De la pregunta. Sí. Okay. Y para la respuesta, es, oh, siempre lo va a utilizar igual, de igual manera. El, el answer, lo va, el do y el das, siempre va antepo, sí. anteponiéndolo, ¿verdad? La... Sí, pero, 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 cuando no tengo, cuando no son preguntas de información. En el caso de nosotros, ahorita estamos hablando de preguntas de información que llevan el WH. Ahí uh -huh. la respuesta no puede ser solamente yes, I do o no, I don't. No, es una respuesta completa. Uh -huh. sí, Déjeme sí. compartirle el link de esa presentación para que usted la tenga por ahí. Ok. Ahí la, ahí la toma del chat. Ok, ahorita. Por ahí se la pegué. Sí, ya. Okay. Dele doble clic para que le quede abierto ahí en su teléfono o computadora. Uh -huh. Y luego de ahí usted lo puede copiar y, y lo puede compartir si usted quiere. Si no, lo deja guardar ahí. Como ok. Como usted guste. Porque al final, una pregunta suya puede responder también la de los demás compañeros. Sí, ah, porque a veces como... Eh, tal vez no se logra comprender así a cabalidad en, en la... Sí, claro, por eso se necesita que... más material. Uh -huh. Ok, I don't know if you have another question or does it No, no, no more questions. Ok, ok, thank you very much for your time and I hope Good to night. see you tomorrow. Good night, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.